The convert task in PDM is an awesome feature. However, it falls short when it comes to printing and merging PDFs. Now today I am very excited to show you guys a better solution. It's called PDM Publisher. With PDM Publisher, you can create a PDF that looks like this one right here. It's made up of individual assembly parts. Each page has a watermark and that watermark can be customized to contain text, but also PDM variables. Now the uh, merge PDF also has a table of content and bookmarks for easy navigation. Now, let me show you how I did that by configuring a task in my administration tool. All right, I've created a new task in my vault and I've selected PDM publisher here as the add-in. As soon as I do that, I have a new page here called options. I'm going to click on it. And these here are the options that we need to configure in order to uh, print and merge our PDFs. The first option here is the export location. I want to select the file folder and I want to create a new folder under my file folder here called export. Now this is going to evaluate to uh, the assembly component folder. I can also customize how the uh, file name will look like. So I'm going to choose, for example, finite file name with that extension. And then I'll also choose the extension here and then select which extensions I'd like to um, convert. So I'm only going to stick to PDF for this example here. So right here, I'm going to specify that I want my logs to be put into the vault root folder. And then under a folder, I'm going to call logs. In these export options, I want to make sure that I export the reference components of the assembly um, as individual files. And I want to make sure to merge those into one master PDF. I can also specify that I would like to work with the latest version here. Scrolling down here, I get the table of content option here. I got two options, either a table of content that only has one column or a simple bill of material that contains a description column and a quantity column. And then you can specify here the paper size for the table of content pages. I can specify which version of SOLIDWORKS I'd like to work with. By default, latest is selected. And I can also add a watermark. So here I could type in, for example, or view only and um, let's add the part number i'll go ahead and scroll down here to part number part number and i can also add bookmarks for the merge pdf so let's add description and maybe even add the bill of material quantity as well I'm going to click OK to confirm, and obviously you can always go back and make sure that you set the permissions, the success and error notifications. Now, after configuring the task, I can go to my file explorer, right click on an assembly and then go to tasks. Where I'll see the name of my task as well as the version of the add-in. So I'm going to click on this and that is going to launch the task. And I can see that here on my task list. Now this task is going to take a couple of minutes to execute. So I'm going to fast forward to the merged PDF. Now that the task has finished executing, let's take a look at the merged PDF. I'm going to close the administration tool and go directly to the export folder. And I can see all of my uh, individual PDFs as well as the master one. Let me double click on it. Let me bring that from my other screen. As you can see, we've got the uh, table of content here. If I expand my bookmarks, see that I have my uh, bookmarks as well as the quantity. If I close that and scroll down, see that I've got my individual components, PDFs with the watermark as well. 